Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your February 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be for February 2021 like I said. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. Okay, so we have the Eight of Coins. Okay, message for our lovely Sagittarians, please. Oh, message for Sagittarius, please. Lots of energy in your cards, Sagittarius. <laughs> so let's find out what we get. What, what is the message for Sagittarius, please? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I just said there's lots of energy. We have confidence, you know. It's a big go-getting, confident, standing in your power energy. Um, and we have protection as well. Message for Sagittarius, please. Message for our lovely Sagittarius. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, again, a confident energy. We have be assertive. This is about taking action. Asserting yourself. Okay, Sagittarius, so I'm going to pull four cards. Roughly works out as one card per week, but the messages can overlap, divine timing and all that. And then we'll clarify and go deeper into the message as we always do. And it doesn't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for our lovely Sagittarians, please? Angel Spirits Guides for February 2021. What does Sagittarius need to hear the most? Thank you. High Priestess. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Page of Swords. Okay. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. For Sagittarius, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? February 2021, can we clarify the cards on the table for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guide. Thank you. Okay, so I have the Four of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Page of Wands is clarified with the Five of Swords. And the Page of Swords is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. Let's clarify this Four of Pentacles, please. For Sagittarius, thank you. Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles for Sagittarius. We have Death. Okay, so there's a message here, Sagittarius, with the Eight of Coins. For me, this is a card of small steps bring giant leaps. Um, you keep working at something, you focus on something that you're good at, and you bring gain, you bring the reward, you get noticed long term. Um, sometimes feels like Groundhog Day, the Eight of Coins, doing the mundane, repetitive tasks. But what it is bringing in is greater material security, greater change in terms of your material health, financial health, career health, and um, by the hard work. I mean, it's a sheer hard work energy, the Eight of Coins, where you focus on what you do well, you play to your strengths, and you get the reward as a result. I mean, it's very beautiful energy for that reason. So I really like the energy of this. 
Because the eights are cards of mastery and change. You might be mastering a new skill, you might be learning something new as well. Um, very good in terms of the apprenticeships, internships, um, getting qualifications, education, bettering yourself. It could be to get noticed, you know, to better your skills, to better you in terms of, you know, jobs or, or expanding your repertoire um, in business, you know, that kind of energy. So definitely this energy of approaching something with confidence and understanding how to protect what's yours. I mean, there's, there's energies of, of protection in this reading that I definitely see wanting to protect. And it feels to do with your home, your family, your material security. I feel some of you have gone through changes. Let's clarify this Four of Wands. Yeah, yeah, I do. I feel, I feel that we've got the tower. Uh, and I kind of feel it. something has happened that affected it. It feels to do with your money, career, finances have had an impact in terms of the home, the family, the relationship. Uh, the, the Four of Wands is the happy home card. It's a celebratory energy. It's a card of stability and security as well in the home. And it is an energy of this tower ripping straight through that, you know, there's suddenly instability, there's deep change in your circumstances, a life changing event. Um, the message with the High Priestess, certainly with these cards, you know, is, is an energy of you are being guided through your intuition, trust your instinct, this is not a journey you're making on your own. Spirit is guiding you. And remember the tower, as I always say, is an act of love from the universe. It sends this lightning to test the strength of this tower and is found to be wanting. Change needs to happen in order to release you from something and realign you to a new path. I feel this is a tower that has, I mean, it can be a tower that's affected your relationships, in which case the Eight of Coins is something that you're working through a relationship here or working through a tower moment which can be about truth, revelation. But for me, it feels more like something's happened to destabilize the home, the family. And it feels to do with, it definitely feels to do with more money, career, finances. Because at the end of this reading, I'm getting a new level of stability in terms of your, your money, career, finances. Um, and protecting what's yours. There's a preservation, protection energy. So I'm definitely getting in this energy, Sagittarius. Something has happened here to destabilize your family. It could even be to do with property here as well. Um, the beautiful thing is the Seven of Cups is your hopes, dreams and wishes can be to do with choices, but can also be to do with you have multiple options, opportunities here. Um, but it definitely feels like, for me, this is an energy of there's an offer coming, very much in line with new hopes, new dreams, new wishes. And I definitely feel it's, it's some kind of how you've been working through this, how you've been applying yourself, how you've been putting yourself out there to bring material gain into your world again. It definitely feels in this situation that there is an offer that brings change. I mean, the, the Knight of Pentacles is somebody making you an offer. Um, can be a new contract, can be winning client business, uh, can be just getting good, you know, more money coming your way. Uh, the Knights bring, the Knight of Pentacles in particular is a slow moving energy. It's not something that comes very quickly. You might have to wait for it. You may have been feeling some stagnant energy here, but it's definitely coming and I feel it's very much in line with your hopes, dreams and wishes something that you really hoped for. It definitely feels like it's materializing here. So yes, there has been new change in your circumstances, but I always say the tower is an act of love by the universe to realign you to a new path. And it definitely feels this is the opportunity that's bringing change. So lovely energy for that reason. Five of Swords can be a card of 
can be a card of negative thinking. It can also be a card of... Um, it's a card of conflict, um, but it can be a card of a victory over some kind of conflict or something that's caused you conflict. Because the Page of Wands can be good news to do with an opportunity. So these are great positive green lights coming into your reading in February 2021. Uh, positive energies, positive signs of change beginning to happen. The pages are the beginnings of change, the beginnings of something new. Now, there's a kind of liberating energy with the Page of Wands as well. Whatever this news is, whatever this offer opportunity is, it's allowing you to free yourself from negative thinking, free yourself from conflict. Um, could be struggle or something that's caused you conflict, even in a conflict. You know, it's that kind of energy or liberating yourself from negative thinking, negative energy. So it definitely feels for some of you very, very beautiful. Because the, the, the Seven of Pentacles is a card of perseverance. Um, it's an energy of keep going, invest your time and energy wisely, stay focused, keep, definitely an energy of keep going. A level of a bit of a frustration here in terms of bringing material gain. This person is putting all their effort and energy towards bringing growth reward into their life, but they've not quite got the result that they want here. And there's a message of keep going. Good things come to those that are patient. So between this kind of offer and maybe actually materializing, there's some kind of like level of patience here. Be patient. Uh, because for some of you, the news is coming. The news that you want to hear is coming. So lots of kind of like positive messages, news cards in the top row here. And it all starts with this high priestess, trusting your intuition. You are being guided. You are being protected. You are being guided and directed through this tower time. And it feels like to the path that you need to be on. Because this death card is a card of... Um, can be a card of out with the old, in with the new. It is an energy of shedding an old skin. The past is behind you. And there's definitely this news, what this offer, this opportunity, this news coming your way is bringing in a new level of stability and security in your money, career, finances. The Four of Pentacles is material security. Um, Definite energy here of um, a newfound stability, security in your life. It's a four, which is a foundational energy. And in this reading, I definitely feel in this situation um, where there has been instability, where you felt definitely tested, where there has been deep change in your circumstances. Um, could have been some kind of like job loss, for example. I mean, this can be about endings. It definitely feels for some of you, there is a new level of security coming your way um, and allowing you to protect what's yours. And definitely this energy of being recognized, I'm getting, getting recognition. So I'm going to pull you one more card, Sagittarius. Any other advice for Sagittarius, please, angels, spirits, guides. Any other advice for Sagittarius in this reading? Thank you. Any other advice for Sagittarius in this reading, please? For February 2021. Yeah. An opportunity, an exciting opportunity. The Page of Wands, the news to do with... Um, the good news, you know, that is opening up a new beginning here. This is the new beginning. This is taking action towards a new beginning. And the Ace of Wands is something that holds potential growth, success long term, if you keep on taking action towards it. Um, so the Ace of Wands is, is fire energy as well. It is an energy of the power of fire. And we have the Ace of Cups. You're being shown love by the universe. But here's the interesting thing as well with the Ace of Cups. It's intuitive energy. It is the beginnings of happiness. It is the beginnings of an opportunity that you really want here, Sagittarius. But the High Priestess is an energy of trusting your intuition. And this is where your intuition has led you to this new beginning. 
So I definitely feel, I see this Ace of Cups in line with your hopes, dreams and wishes being materialised. Some kind of opportunity, an offer, a contract. Um, something in line with your hopes, dreams and wishes. Roughly from about the second week onwards, it definitely feels like it's playing out here. There's a level of patience that's needed. But what it's bringing in is greater security, material security, solidity in your life and an exciting new beginning. Yeah, lovely energy. And that is what this tower was all about. You will look back on this tower and realise why things happened the way they did. Because this is realigning you to your element, the element of fire. So whatever this opportunity is, it suits you perfectly. And you will excel in this perfectly, you know. Uh, the, the Eight of Coins is excelling because you do what you do. You do very, very well. Okay, so I'm going to pull a final card. It feels like this big new chapter is opening up for you. And you're being told shedding old skin is out with the old in with the new this month. I'll shuffle a couple more times if it doesn't materialize I'll choose final message for Sagittarius thank you <laughs> yeah we have rabbit sensitive soul strengthen your boundaries and cut cords yeah this is the cord cutting this is the catharsis this is I only take forward that which I which is of value to me and I leave behind everything else, you know, that which doesn't serve me anymore. So it's a lovely, lovely energy. You are the phoenix rising. I mean, definitely this energy is the phoenix rising, rising from the ashes of the old in order to embrace the new. Um, absolutely beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.